smell. Trees on fire. It's the embrace. Watchtower's burning, but our sentinels had time to warn the tribe. Clips smashed through. What was that? Come we on, then. Company. All right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. Braves, to Aloy's side! Now! For Aloy! For the For our mother! <laughs> Varl and Sona, they're still alive.
We did it! Aloy did it! We only helped. I thought we would die. These aren't cheap. Never know when I might need these. Aloy, your deeds reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched Deathbringers and Corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the Embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, God be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure, but I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. Aloy! Oh, you've returned! Teb? Aloy! So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. 
How was this done? By the will of All Mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um... Yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not gonna hurt you. If there's anything I've learned since the Proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. <sighs> Finally. Hold for identiscan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sova. You are clear to proceed. Side. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. So this is Aluthia. This is where I was born. Where you were made. So these are... artificial wombs. The mothers of a new generation hundreds of years ago. So this was it? Where you were born. But... but why? Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, Mother! I know. But it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. These look like... cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those... things, the, the multi-servitors, they took care of them. There was no one else. to us you will be brave and 
you will learn. Children, let's run a jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. Someday. That's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, Father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels! Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer! Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! They were... Looks like they didn't like this door very much. Mm. Our identity scan. Genetic identity of course confirmed. They it. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Welcome to Lycia, a place of learning. So, what was this place exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day, your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn, so much promise and possibility. Note, malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Eloy. Hello, child. This My is name is Samina. Today is a big day. What we might have achieved had we not been denied Hello, child. Maybe there's a way to My fix name it. is Samina. But it's not where Today I Today is a big day. Of course. Your first day of school. What's the whole of human there's knowledge so next to the for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. I will. That sounds important. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Elizabeth. This message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, 
Obtain one of the focus devices stored below and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. In place. It... They... are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. But it... Oh! The Alpha Registry at the Crater Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So... You're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Identiscan malfunction rectified. Elufia now. Group 1 access unsaved. Interesting. Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy, how? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. Up. All, All praise Aloy, Aloy anointed, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's 
a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy, way. that she may forge the path for others to follow. Spreads beyond the sacred land. Trees are getting dense and tangled. This has to be the Banuk camp that Vilgen told me about. So what happened to the other mercenaries he sent? Machine docile. It's like they've already been over. We should find a few machines. When the machine spirits resist, it forces the Banuk to prove our worth. But in the grove, they're docile. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain.
last hunt was a good one. Struck swift as snow, and none will be going hungry. I am the best hunter of my Werag, and none shall wrest that honor from me. May your song echo. Tomorrow, we'll see what the shamans have learned from the machine spirit. What are we doing here? Every idle moment is another mile between us and the herd. at the top of the mountain. I'd better look into it. Talks are just waiting. I could see Jumping him, yes. shard purses. Did Vilgen send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. But we tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's a fair appraisal. What do you let the rope slip for? You bunch of chuffs go. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing is just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All you've ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. This is long ago. And it's been sending a signal all this time. Fading out. This is from Gaia Prime. Some part of her was still functioning. Until now. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart.
No, they've already started attacking. Machines are angered. Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. Yes. Roar and rant at me. I don't fear it. Now you'll hear my song, Machine. A sharp song. Hear my song, machine. A sharp song. Nora, did you know this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Asaram thought. The Asaram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs but more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day we will understand the machine's mysteries. From what I've learned, I think that day will come, Tikuk, and there can be peace again.
thick of it. Able-bodied adventurers! Outlander! Are you looking for... Wait. I know your face. <laughs> you came back! <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines... It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah. Hoisted on my own purse strings. be closing in on the signal.
soon saw me. A holographic interface. I think the old ones use numbers like this to indicate time. These devices are missing power cells. I'll have to find power cells to get these to work. There, fits. I just need to slot in one more.
Good for an old remedy. <laughs> 